Let's look at how we can create shortcuts in Windows 11. We see in the upper left-hand corner, there are a couple of web browsers I've installed. One is Edge, which comes automatically when you install Windows, and the other is Firefox, but they have this little arrow that shows a shortcut. Now, if I right-click on that shortcut and go to Properties, then I can see where the actual program is. So shortcuts can allow us to leave our existing files where they are and just point to them by creating this shortcut. Now I can create a shortcut using a file, using a folder, or using an application. So if I double click on my C drive, for instance, in File Explorer, let's just take this program's files folder over and I'll right click and drag it over. If you left click, then it just copies it. You gotta right click and drag it over and choose Create Shortcut. So there's my shortcut, I can double click on it and it opens right up. I can also go into Properties and I can make some changes, such as I can go to Change Icon and I can make the icon look different. So I'll make it look like this gray one we see here. Click Apply, hit F5 to refresh, and now we see it's this gray folder instead. If I right click and go back into Properties, I can also make it run in a normal window, which is what it is right now. I can make it run minimized, which means it'll open, but it will just be down in the taskbar that you see here, or I can run maximized. Maximized is one of the more useful ways to go. So I'll double click, and now it fills up the whole screen. If I change my mind, I can just go back and do that again. Now, another way I can create a shortcut is right click and choose New anywhere in the desktop or in File Explorer, and choose Shortcut. So I'll click on Shortcut. Now it's asking me where the item is. So I'll go to Browse, and I'll locate any file or folder or anything else that's listed here, and it will create a shortcut to it. I'm going to go to Notepad and choose a shortcut to the Notepad application, and now we can see the path to this shortcut. I'll click Next. Now I can give it a name. Instead of calling it Notepad, I can call it My Notepad App, for instance, and click Finish. And now it's called My Notepad App, but if I double click on it, we can see it will open up Notepad. So there's your tutorial on creating shortcuts in Microsoft Windows 11, and it also works in previous versions of Windows.